girls welcome back to my channel it's chelsea where we talk about all things glam and all things girly i'm a beauty enthusiast and consultant who loves to talk about everything dealing with beauty and makeup and today i have my july favorites it's not really as traditional as i normally have it but i figured we'd just talk about it and i'll kind of update you on kind of where i've been and what's been going on with me so stay tuned for all of that Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I truly do appreciate it. And let's get right into this video. So I sat down to do this video and I was like, I don't really have many new favorites. Like when I say new favorites, products that you haven't already seen probably in the past couple of favorites. July was a very, July was a challenging month. Um, my girls and I got COVID back to back. We're good to go, um, but the first time that we got it, it was in the very beginning of July. I was actually knocked down, um, and thank the Lord we went through that. <laughs> and then literally, like, not even like a week or so later, all three of us and I got it again. The second time um, wasn't nearly as bad as the first time, but that primarily explains why my upload schedule was just very kind of sporadic and not nearly as much as I usually do. Um, and so I'm hoping to get back on schedule. Work has been crazy. So like life has just really been happening and I've, I'm making peace with like, you know, you can't do everything all at one time, but you can do what you can do and, you know, take care of what needs to be taken care of first. And then, you know, with whatever energy left that you have over, you know, take care of some other things. So I never want you all to feel like I'm neglecting you, that I am not trying to do my best for you all. But that's basically where I've been. So thankfully, we're all fine. We're, we're good to go. And I'm hoping like we've had our fair share <laughs> for the year. Um, but because of that like really wasn't wearing a lot of makeup so i am going to share with you some products that i really did enjoy that i did reach for like a lot in july like and when i say a lot when i actually did do my makeup these were the products i was reaching for or like giving you some updates on some new makeup that i did get to try in the month of july so sorry for the long intro but here we go so first i want to start off with something i picked up during the nordstrom anniversary sale and i only i bought two things during the sale one was a strapless bra which is my absolute favorite it's by way cole it's called like the runway strapless bra the best strapless bra i have ever tried it stays up no matter what even um like i bought the strapless bra the first time when i was pregnant and so even though like my breasts aren't as full as when i was pregnant i can still wear that strapless bra and it stays up i'm telling you it is worth every dollar but it was actually on sale during the nordstrom anniversary sale so i picked it up <laughs> again um so really really recommend that like i actually have paid full price for that bra and i just picked up another one because it was on sale so absolutely love that would recommend it especially if you're in the market for a really good supportive strapless bra and then <gasps> this mason or mason francis kirk de john discovery set for her y'all so i i love baccarat 540 okay i love my inspired version by dossier y'all have heard me talk about that time and time again it's amber saffron so ever since then, and then getting Baccarat 540, I have the um, Parfum and the body oil. I was like, I need to try more from the brand because I just feel like this could be like, this could be a brand I could potentially purchase all of these fragrances from. Every fragrance in this discovery set is, it's so beautiful. So just quickly, cause I don't wanna spend too much time, but I have Aqua Celestia in this set. We have Aqua Universalis. I have tried all of these fragrances. I've worn them at least once, but a lot of these I've worn more than once and I really enjoy them. They work really good with my body chemistry. And like I told Sean, I was like, so how am I gonna get all of these? Cause there's what, eight in here? <laughs> I was like, how am I gonna get all of them? Gentle Fluidity. So I think Gentle Fluidity will be my next full size purchase because, oh my goodness. And then we have Aqua Vitae. 
there's Amris. I already knew I liked Amris because I got a sample of Amris. And so I was really happy to have this one in a larger size. Of course, Baccarat 540. And then there's Baccarat 540 X Straight. And then lastly, Oud Satin Mood. Now, Oud Satin Mood, I just knew I was not gonna like y'all, okay? I was like, mm-mm. Oud, when I have smelled fragrances with Oud in them, they just, mm, mm There's just a bit too much for me. And guess what I did, y'all? I went out and bought me the Oud Satin Mood Body Oil because that's also a very new obsession for me. When I like a fragrance, I need the body oil if there is a corresponding one because the body oil helps the fragrance to be a little more intense, to last longer on the skin, but the body oil is also really great when you want to wear a fragrance but you don't want to be doing too much, but you want to be doing a little something. And I find that this body oil and another one that I'm going to talk about actually has some really good hydrating oils in it, so it actually makes the skin feel moisturized and I mean just all the good things. So I said I have Oud Set Oud Set and Mood in the actual parfum. I could just buy a little body oil and then when I run out of this, I will buy the full size of this. <sighs> this discovery set is where it's at for me. Okay, so Oud Set and Mood, I don't remember the notes off the top of my head, but you are seeing them here on the screen. The uh body oil is a little more soft than the parfum. Oh, but this smells like this is a very warm scent, but it's not so warm that it's suffocating. It also, I think, could be a unisex scent. I could see this being worn by a male or a female or, or someone who really just enjoys a really good unisex perfume. It doesn't smell like it's leaning, you know, one way or the other. And the and it's, I mean, satin mood, It's it smells like very smooth like i don't know how smooth can smell but this smells like smooth it's so beautiful and refined and luxurious i love everything about this scent so when i found out that there was a body oil to it hmm, i purchased that with a quickness so i highly recommend this even though it's not on sale anymore at nordstrom i still recommend purchasing this and highly think it's worth the value of it especially if you want to try more fragrances by this house but you don't want to you know take a blind buy and just spend money on one. I really, really love this. Okay, since we're already talking about fragrances, YSL Libre, I have loved this one for a very long time. It, I don't even know the notes, but you know, you're already seeing them. I love this fragrance. I've had this one for, I wanna say a good like year or two. Love, love, love it. Then I found there was a body oil for it and I said, well, it has to come home. This body oil, y'all, this one, now this body oil does not smell exactly like YSL Libre. Um, it smells slightly different, but in a very good way and it complements the fragrance so, <laughs> so well. I, it doesn't look like I've used a lot, but I have used a lot of this like, and I've used this multiple times. I love how big it is because I'm not gonna run through it. This is also very hydrating on the skin and it lasts very well on the skin. So does this one, Oud Satin Mood. So I could put this on and it really be my fragrance for the day without having to add the parfum to it. It actually lasts on the skin. And so then I say, well, if I've got the YSL Libre, original parfum and then i have the body oil well then i just need to go ahead and get me the intense version and <laughs> this smells even better so it's just the intensified version of the original fragrance i do believe this one lasts a little bit longer on this skin than this one does because it's just a bit more intense but let me just tell you i love 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 these angel share by killian <sighs> Now this, I would say, was the most surprising scent that I wore in July. Because when I first smelled this, I was like, this smells like cognac. And I don't know if I'm like a strong enough woman to wear this and pull this off. And I have to thank the sales rep who said, yes, you can. I think you should get it. This is very different. And you're not gonna smell like the average person in the room. And I said, well, you know what? I like to stand out and be different. I'm so glad I purchased this. So this is very warm, spicy. I mean, it looks like a cognac bottle. And if you have ever drank cognac, like 
this smells like cognac, but in a very complimentary way. This is definitely a kind of fall winter scent because it is so warm and it's so spicy, but I wore, I have worn this a few times. <laughs> I wore it in the day and I kind of feel like when it's hot outside, the scent is, is intensified because it's already warm, um, but I don't feel like I'm burning up when I wear it. This is beautiful. This would have to be the most, like I said, shocking fragrance that I tried in July because I just knew, I was like, I'm gonna buy this, I'm gonna take it home, I'm gonna put it on me and I'm going to hate it. And I love it, like love, love, love it. So I recommend all these fragrances that I talked about. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Now in terms of the makeup that I really enjoyed, <laughs> There's not a lot, like I said, not a lot that you haven't already seen. So in terms of complexion, a new foundation that I did try in July that I cannot get enough of, y'all, is this Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. I have the shade 12. I did do a full review of this foundation. It is the foundation I'm wearing today. I did mix it today with the Chanel Ultra Latent Velvet Foundation, and I wear the shade... Uh, BD91 and the Chanel so that's what is mixed on my face today but this is just beautiful by itself it leaves such I mean literally if you've experienced the hourglass ambient glow powders on your face this is basically the same effect just in a foundation form very lightweight long wearing it looks beautiful on the skin and i love how light bounces off of it one of the videos that i wanted to do last month was comparing the nars light reflecting foundation to the hourglass soft um, ambient soft glow because when i was wearing it i was like man light is really reflecting off of this hourglass foundation and it reminds me of the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. So I might still do that review. I don't know yet, but I really, really like this. Highly recommend it. Um, I think it's just beautiful. And I really have been enjoying mixing this foundation. Like I said, I'm mixing it today with the Chanel, and this is a foundation that I really, really love. This um, is more of a matte foundation. So I said, well, let's mix these two together. And it's stunning on the skin because I still get a soft glow from the Hourglass Foundation, but then I also get a, it, you know, it kind of is a little bit more of a uh, natural finish on the skin versus a glowy finish on the skin. The Hourglass is not dewy at all, um, but it's just stunning. And then another thing that I like mixing with Hourglass, which is another favorite, is Danessa Myrick's Blurring Balm Powder. I cannot get enough of the Blurring Balm Powder. And every time I feel like I've kind of tapped out on all the ways that I can use it, I find new ways to use it. So in the month of July, I did a lot of mixing of the Universal Shade with my more dewy foundations and it helped me to allow for those foundations to last longer on the skin and hold up during very hot days so this is like this is like been clutch and i am going to do a dedicated video where i'm going to show you all how i've made my more dewy foundations wearable in the heat because i know summertime is nearing its end but depending on where you live we still got a lot of heat left compared to what i would like <laughs> so i do want to show you all how i've been using this like my tips and my tricks with the balm powder, but the universal shade I have reached for so much lately, um, a lot more than I thought I would. I remember when I first got this, I was like, well, I'm probably just gonna wear the tennis shades more than I wear the universal shade, and I've been reaching for the universal shade now more than my tennis shades, but don't get me wrong, I'm still wearing the tennis shades. Like today, I'm wearing shade eight as my bronzer, um, and then I'm also wearing the Balm Contour Medium 3. And, um, oh my gosh, I've hit pan on shade 5. Look at this, y'all. Like, Balm Powder is where it's at for me. Um, but I've been loving the mixing, like, my other foundations with the Universal Shade. And I think the Hourglass is an another great foundation that can mix well with other foundations, too. So, really have been loving those two um i've already traveled with the hourglass i've of course traveled with my balm powder so like they are staples at this point okay two eyeshadow palettes natasha denona mini bronze came out and i really enjoyed this one i did a review also on this palette and i've actually reached for this palette 
a few more times than I thought I would. I thought this would have been one of those palettes like I'll buy it, I'll review it, I'll like it, but like I really won't reach for it too much. And I actually have reached for this more than I thought I would. This is just such an easy, simple, like I want a bronze eye look type of palette. And in the summertime, I think this is like a go-to type of palette for like very simple eye looks, um, but I want them to have a little a little substance, a little bronziness to them. Um, I really have liked this one. And the formulation is very beautiful. So this is one that was just like an easy reach for me, especially when I did do makeup. But the, I remember there being a couple times where I was just like, I really don't feel like doing much to the face. And I would reach for this one and it gave me a nice simple eye look without me having to do a lot. The other palette that I really, I mean, I've already, already knew I love this palette, but I got it in the smaller version was Dennis of Myrick's Lightworks 3, the Experience palette. So she's not bringing back the original Lightworks 3 palette, but she did come out with this Experience palette. And I love, 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 love it. Of course I love it because I love the original palette. Um, but I love that this one is a lot easier to travel with in my opinion, because it's smaller. And with the bigger one, I mean, it's not like, terribly big but you know if you look at the two it's definitely a smaller size to travel with it's not going to take up as much space and i love that she included in this experience palette so like the eight best shades <laughs> in the palette and i like that she also included one of those um one of the shades from the middle like that big row of shades. So I have been reaching for this one time and time again, once again, when I have been doing my makeup and I love this. So this is still available. She is going to also make this one limited edition. And she said when it sells out, it's gone, but she did make this one available across all platforms that sells her products. So hopefully you're able to get your hands on it if you want to. Okay. And then lastly, cause like I said, I didn't have much, so I'm not gonna just be like making up stuff so I can have a fuller video. Um, in terms of concealer, my go-to concealers are still the Huda Beauty concealer. And I wear the shade uh, Toasted Almond 5.3G. And then the other one that I reach for a lot, which is what I'm actually wearing on my eyes today, is the Tom Ford shade and Illuminate concealer in shade 4W0 Hazel. Alrighty, and then we've got some lip products. So, lippies for days. Pound cake, I don't know if I've talked about pound cake on my channel, but I've talked about pound cake a few times on my Instagram page. So they are a black owned brand that said, we're sick and tired of people not being able to find the right shade of red lipstick for their complexion. So especially if you have a deeper complexion or your lips are more pigmented, if you go to put on basically any type of lipstick, it's going to look different on your lips than it does on the model or even in the tube. So they came out with six, I wanna say six lipstick shades of variations of red and based on your complexion they have a red lipstick for you so i've worked with them a couple times um and i really really enjoy the brand so i first i can't remember how i found out about them but i purchased these two and the shades are strawberry and bloodberry so strawberry is basically my perfect true blue red and I'm gonna do some quick swatches for you all so you can see them. These are like one swipe, full on pigmentation type of lipsticks. They have a velvet formula, so it's not gonna dry down completely on the lips, but it will dry down to where it's just not bleeding all over the lips. So comfortable, creamy, vegan, cruelty free, you know, all the things. And I love, love, love them. This is Bloodberry. And on their website, um, you can see, you know, different pictures of models wearing the different shades. So we have strawberry and bloodberry. Another great thing about these lipsticks is they actually smell like pound cake. Oh, it makes you want to eat some cake. And then because you guys know when I love something, I want it all. I purchased two more of their shades. So this shade is called Maraschino. And I actually have not worn this on the lips yet, but I will swatch it. Oh, ooh, honey, honey, child, this looks so pretty. Okay, so here is Maraschino. Oh, that looks so pretty. And then the second shade, 
that I just got is red velvet. I mean, you gotta have a red velvet shade. If, you know, we're talking about cake here. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, so this top one is red velvet. So we've got strawberry, bloodberry, maraschino, and then red velvet. These are so, so pretty. And like I said, all of these different tones of red are to complement the pigmentation and undertones of various complexions. And the owner, I mean, she's so amazing. And like I said, I just love the brand. So I just need to purchase two more of the lipsticks and I will have all six of them. And I love that even though like technically strawberry is, you know, my true blue shade, of course I can wear any of them and they look beautiful on the skin. I can't wait to put these two on the skin, but I don't doubt for a second that I won't love how they look on my complexion. So wanted to make sure that I put them out here on my channel because I really, really, really love the brand and I can't wait to see what else they do right now. They just have these lipsticks, but I can't wait to see what else they're doing because their mission is to make sure that they create beauty products that really fit every complexion out there. And I'm like, okay, we're ready for more. We're ready for more. So highly recommend that you check them out um, because I really, really have been loving them. So in the month of July, I wore strawberry and bloodberry a lot, uh, especially when like, I didn't really wanna put on makeup, but I wanted something on my face to stand out. I mean, nothing does it like a bright red lip. So those were amazing. And then I have the, I have two of them. One is in, the other one's in my purse. But the Jaclyn Cosmetics um, lip oils, they are so good. So I purchased two. I'm wearing maple drip on top of this liquid lipstick. And then I have um, honey dip. I want to say honey dip. These are so hydrating. So I heard a lot about them. And she recently came out with like more shades. I think it was last month. And so I was like, okay, let me pick up a couple. And I keep, like I said, keep one in my purse because I love how hydrating they are on the lips. And when my lips feel extremely dry and they're cracking, this just glides over them so nicely. I also love the hint of color that comes with them as well. And for them to be a lip oil, I love that they don't just absorb into the skin and then that's it. Because a lot of lip oils that I've tried, they absorb into your lips and then you don't really see a shine and then sometime later they almost kind of feel dry on the lips these never feel dry they always look very hydrating on the lips and your lips feel hydrated as well it's almost like a lip oil gloss i really love this formula and i can definitely see myself repurchasing these when i run out and then lastly i was watching Lexi Jong's review. She was talking about, about why she wasn't going to purchase any more um, Lisa Eldritch lipsticks. I'm pointing over here because that's where I keep mine. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, Lexi, why are you not purchasing any more Lisa Eldritch lipsticks? So she goes on to explain her reasonings and I'll link her video down below because she offered a ton of other recommendations for lipsticks that are very similar to Lisa Eldridge's and you know if you experience some of the same issues that she experienced you know these might be options that you would enjoy so one of the recommendations that she had was by the brand called Dries Von Noten I had never heard of the brand before but this is a designer who has been in the industry for eons and they have beauty products as well as other types of products so first I mean, look at this packaging. I'm loving all the details of it. So the lipstick comes separate from the case. So you can pick between four different cases and then you pick the lipstick of choice. So, oh, here we go. So it comes like this and then you just snap it in. And here is the lipstick. It's a velvet formula. I love that it has the name of the brand on the lipstick and oh my gosh y'all this on my lips I, I think I took a picture with this I'll insert the picture so you can see what it looks like but this right here is just beautiful like I need to pick up more shades because silky smooth velvety soft lasts so long on the lips I mean it is so beautiful and that it has a slight scent to it like a very slight floral scent nothing that's overbearing um and i like 
scents in my products, so it doesn't bother me, but it is very, very light and faint. Um, Sean and I went to a dinner and um, a gentleman was like, what is on your lips? I need to get that for my wife. Like, it's such a statement lip, this color. It's called Punk Vermilion. But I need more lipsticks by this brand. So thank you, Lexi, for introducing me to the brand. I definitely wanna try more from this um, brand, but I definitely wear this lipstick a lot. So that's it, guys. Like I said, in terms of just like new products, I mean, there's products I've been loving on. And I was thinking, you guys let me know. So I was thinking, you know, getting the juices kind of brewing. I'm noticing that there are times where a new product comes out and I think like, man, this will, you know, I think people will be interested in this. And then I'll do a review and you all don't seem to be so interested. And I'm only basing this off of statistics, okay? And I've noticed that just kind of across the board, when I say across the board, like in the beauty industry, there seems to be a shift going on and I'm trying to figure out what the shift is. And this is my first thought. So I, I really want some feedback. Leave it down in the comment section below. Hopefully you've made it to this point so you can leave me some feedback. I'm wondering if people are kind of just getting over or people are over just buying new makeup. You know what I'm saying? Like at some point, especially if you're an enthusiast or you're a lover, you have pretty much everything that is coming out. Like you've got some variation of a new palette. You've got plenty of foundations, concealers, and so on. So I'm wondering if you are more interested in seeing videos on using the makeup that you already have. Maybe showing like some tips and tricks for makeup that you already have that you may not have thought you know, that you could use it in a particular way. Or, you know, are we still interested in ranking videos? I think we are still enjoying those. Are we interested in like, you know, what were my favorites from August last year? Do I still enjoy them this year? Like, tell me your thoughts because I feel like that's where people are moving toward. Like they're not really so interested in all the new makeup, you know, and I definitely want to make sure that my channel is meeting your needs. So leave it down in the comment section, just your thoughts on that. Or, you know, yes, I am still interested in new makeup because I mean, there's definitely going to be new makeup that I'm still going to purchase. But even me myself, I've seen some recent releases and I'm just like, I'm not buying that. I, I really have no interest. I don't need it and I'm not doing it. So I kind of feel like, is it just me <laughs> or is it really, you know, kind of what I'm sensing? So leave your feedback down in the comment section below. I would love to hear about it. And I also know we're coming up on holiday season, so there are gonna be more releases. So maybe the summer was just kind of a dry spell. Like maybe there wasn't anything too interesting coming out. But I do want to know what you're interested in and like what videos you'd like to see more from me um, because based on what you all say and especially if I kind of keep hearing the same thing over and over again, I would love to make sure that I'm meeting your needs. And thank you if you, you know, listen to everything in the, in the beginning. Thank you for, you know, always just spending some time with me. I really do appreciate it. I know I say that, but I do mean it. I really love you all so much. Y'all are my family. And when I don't upload, I do miss you all. <laughs> I know I'm not literally talking to you in this room but when I film my videos I literally think of you all as I'm talking so it makes me feel like you are here in the room with me so when I don't get to film I miss y'all I really really do and so I'm just very happy to to be able to continue to do this and um yeah that's it let me know your thoughts down below let me know what some of your favorite makeup was from the month of July and like I said leave me your feedback on just what you're still interested in, what you'd like to see, and all of that good stuff. And if you've made it to this point in the video and you have yet to subscribe to my channel, I would love for you to consider subscribing and joining the Glam Girl Squad. And guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching, and I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye, guys.